and now listening to the sex. Let's make it better. We're going to bring you Dia. We are going to bring you Dia. And I'm bringing a little intro for you. And I, and I hope you like it before I bring you on in. I try to do my little intro. Hush up now. We hit, we we about to have company, okay? You're going to be good. Well, bring her in. Stop talking around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stupid. Here we go. Here we go. Sound like porn. Do you want a free tail reading? <laughs> Let yourself take charge of your own destiny. Are you interested in finding out about things like an existing relationship, a spiritual path, about a missing pet, important financial matters, something about a family member, a specific course of action, a direct question answered, or maybe something general in your life? We'll get your free tarot reading today. And all of your questions and all of your questions will be answered. Will be answered. Will be answered. Will be answered. Hello. Hey Dia. Hey guys, how are y'all? I like the intro. Hey, welcome. Thank you. I don't know what happened to Dad. We're like having huge technical difficulty over on this end. I don't know what happened to him. He kind of dropped in and out there. But anyway, <laughs> he's back. <laughs> um, welcome to, like you haven't been here with us before. Girl, just sit down. What's up? You, go hey, in the girl, fridge. It's up? over there. Put your feet up. <laughs> relax. And tell these people who haven't met you what it is that you do. Hi, dear. Are you, are you wondering? You? Are you wondering about if your tires are on flat? He's so stupid. <laughs> He's <such> a fool. <laughs> Did they put no. mustard on your sandwich at the at the sub shop? Get a tarot reading. We can let you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was so calm and soothing. That's that. You know, Dia tries to tell me to meditate, which I can. I think I have some. I can't sit still that long. I can't do it. But that voice. You that's too. That's my meditation. It's soothing. Man, look, I try to pray, and I be looking, I stop praying and look at the TV and be like, oh, this is a car breaker. <laughs> Why is this so are you praying? I, man, I, I have to pray in complete silence, because if I, I sit there and be praying, and then I hear something, did they say the temperature going to drop? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't. I my fault, Lord. You, my fault, Lord. You know my attention, short. You shouldn't even put that on TV. You know I'm going to turn around and look. <laughs> Sorry, as you were. Dia, tell us about yourself. Where can we find you? What do you do? <laughs> as you were. Oh, my gosh. For those, <laughs> that's beautiful. Uh, for those who don't know, my name Quit is playing, Dia. Quit get it done. Story. Shut up. I'm talking. Dang it. For those who don't know, my name is Dia, a.k.a. Ori of Ori's Oasis, OriOasis.com. Um, I give spiritual readings, I give oracle readings, oracle channelings, and I also do astrology readings, which I won't be doing tonight because that takes too long. Um, other than that, I have three children's books out that's currently out on Amazon. You can look on Amazon under the author name Ori Oasis. Um, I also am the host of Spect- um, Practical Spirituality, which our next show will be tomorrow night at 11, and I'm also a co-host of Seeking Empowerment, and our next show will be, I believe, April 12th, um, which is a Sunday. And um, other than that, you can find me on, on all social media, all social media, and on almost all social media. And I also have my own YouTube channel um, where I do weekly readings and talk about the energy of the week or whatever energy is coming out that we need to deal with for that week, and other topics that you know just in, in my heart to talk about, and a little bit of astrology here and there. And she's also the engineer on my show on Wednesday nights. Alrighty oh, then. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes, I am the engineer on W show. So cool. I try to see as much as possible because I've been having too many questions. Cool I guess we we gotta have to have a whole nother show where we school D again. Explain to her what's going on. See, this is a football. No engineer. Engineer. 
Wait, okay, wait, wait, wait. So I'm um, going to find out. You broke down like three different types for those of us who don't understand. You said tarot, said astrology, and you said. So can you oh, make okay. us not this? That what does that mean? Okay, oracle readings is with oracle cards. Oracle cards are a little bit different than tarot. Um, they're based off of tarot. So they still consider a tarot reading, but it's just a little bit different. They're a little bit lighter. Those more so are the reasons I'm going to try to do nice to be, have a little bit of a lighter reading. Um, channeling is when you open yourself up to the energies that's around the, the other human energies that's around the person or possibly the, um, the, the spiritual guides or whatever energy that, that wants to come through and talk to them at that time. It could be their higher self. It could be their spiritual guardians or it could be, you know, a member that has passed on. Sometimes it could be a pet. I've had an actual couple of pets come through, which is weird. But uh, <laughs> sometimes it could be a pet. That's um, channeling. And W, oh. don't you say a word. <laughs> oh, okay, stop. Wait a minute. I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish. I got a question. Go ahead, though. And, and astrology. No, you said my, pet. pet yeah. Now, astro- it's not like they're actually literally talking words. It comes in symbols and pictures. But let me get back to that. Hold up. Uh, okay, I don't have a question anymore, then. I'm okay. Oh. <laughs> My astrology readings are actually different than the average astrology reading you get. Because, of course, you can get astrology readings for free, but what, you, what you'll get is a chart that just gives you random, um, well, not really random, but computerized information that's just general. And once you get it, it's nice, but, okay, once you get it, what the hell do you do with it? Well, I mean, okay, now I got this. What the hell am I supposed to do with it? So with my astrology readings, I break them down into three separate categories, financial, relationship, and then your overall personality. And I also give you um, meditations and how you can actually work with those energies. I don't just leave you blindsided. Like, okay, this is it. Go figure it out. No. <laughs> it actually comes with information, <clears throat> excuse me, so that you're not blindsided. You can understand exactly what's going on and how to move forward and little tips and tricks that you can do to work with the, the energy. Did you all oh, get that, like ladies the, and gentlemen? the medium lady? What did you know? I'm not like a. I'm not. I'm one. Of, I would like yeah, to work the medium my way lady. You know, I can't think of I'm going to be Lisa real Fox. weird because you know people, people we, who don't know the things that seem you, you, to you. It it sounds thing, but I'm going to ask you those type of questions. Well, of course, people are wondering. Ask the questions you want. Are you oh. like the medium lady? Are you somewhere and you can draw energy off of someone and? See something about them? Does it work sort of like that? If I'm ta- if I'm tapped in, I'm not tapped in all the time, and I do that specifically to protect myself because it draws a lot of energy from me. Um, but yes, there has been times where I'm out somewhere, and while I'm totally in my zone, something calls me and pulls my attention to that person. Yes, that has happened. If that's the question, but do I do that on a regular basis? Just walk up to strangers? No, no, Mm-mm, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Am I touch your hand because I feel some bullshit about you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so wrong. It's kind of like a. It's kind of like a, when a blind person wants to touch your face randomly. You're like, okay, I you, I know that you still have to wipe your butt with your hand. So I'm not trying to be funny. <laughs> I really know what you Did you wash your hands? I mean, seriously, that's me. Well, like, I don't I'm touch not, people. Understand you, blind. I, I, don't, oh, I, don't, I don't touch people at all, and I prefer for them not to touch me. <laughs> the reason I don't just walk around and leave myself totally open and talk to random people is because everybody, even though on the spiritual, there's always somebody willing to talk to you. You may not be willing to talk to them. You may not be in the right space to handle their conversation or what they have to say. So I don't just jump on people. I let the people come to me, and when they come to me, then whoever wants to come through from the other side or whichever issue is the one they need to pay attention to the most is what comes out in the reading. Now, keep in mind, though, not every reading somebody wants to come through from the other side. That doesn't always happen. But in every reading, the issue that's pressing the most, the one that needs to address the most, is what normally comes out. And a lot of times they already know it. They just need confirmation for it. I want to talk to my brother. My brother on the other side. I ain't like that motherfucker when I was living. I ain't got, say, I ain't got shit to say to him. <laughs> you are so You wrong, are special. 
I'm going back down here with Big and Tupac. I'll holler. I holler. <laughs> He'll tell stories. He'll uh, tell stories about Faith Evans and Madonna. And, and see, because he plays so much, that's why I want him to get the reading first. I'm scary. I'm scary. Uh, Deb, are you willing you to, 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 read, to do you? your reading first? We have people sitting here on the line. Guys, I'm ready. Do not be afraid. Let's go. Be hey, here. don't pay attention to the two dollar bill when you open the book in the first page. So, but you can you can read everything else. It works better when I don't know the person because then I can give them more things that are confirmations that only they can confirm. But I'm going to do this big hit anyway. So. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, all right. Well, you guys that are listening Thank you online, so much. 347-838-8420. Those of you on the switchboard who are already sitting here, just go ahead and press 1 because you're sitting here. I know you want to know. I know you want to know. So go ahead. Doing I'm going to uh, beat him up. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to let him pick which deck um, that he wants. Even though you can't see the deck, you can pick right hand, right hand, left hand, or middle. If I can see that damn deck, we got a whole other problem. <laughs> right, <laughs> just pick right, left, or middle. That's all you got to do. Being that I'm right handed, I'm going to go with the left. Okay. You better not renege either. I ain't really nigga, nigga. Don't play with me. Oop, I'm going to play too much. I keep it real. Don't, don't play we're with me. Jo- we're playing Joker Joker Deuce, too. Stop. You're trying to take me out of my space. Stop it. I'll be quiet. Go ahead. I heard that. I said I'll be quiet. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay. The first card I got for you um, is the Aquarius card, which Aquarius is it's Aquarius in astrology because this deck is more of an astrology and chakra deck. The Aquarius sign is the sign that's the all-knower. So basically it's talking about what you, it's talking about something that you already know because Aquarius is the knower, it's the broad knower. The next card I got for you is water, which is cleansing, it's purifying, but I'm getting your, but the next card I got from that is Pallas, which Pallas is the, um, the uh, the uh, asteroid or um, well no asteroid is a bad word but it's, it's a symbol for patterns basically and what it's saying is you need to cleanse from certain patterns that you have and the word that keeps coming to my mind is money um, I keep seeing money in patterns and it's saying you need to start changing your money pattern basically uh, Basically, I got, um, the next card I got is transmission, which deals with the hand chakra, which is saying, I mean, I also got the cancer card, which is saying that you're more so, you don't, you kind of play it, but not really more so by things on the spot. Like, if, you, if it makes you feel good at that moment, you want to buy it, and that's why in the patterns they're saying that you have to change. Uh, and um, this this one's just confirming that even though, it's an, even though it's an emotional bar, it's not necessarily like a deep, a deep connection to, like, oh, 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 I'm in love with this person. I have to buy this person. It's not that. It's just, okay, this right here, so make me feel that at the moment. This right look good on me. I'm going to buy it right now and not really worry about the rest of the thing. Next, I'm about to switch that for you. And Mercury and Uranus. Okay. So Mercury is the planet of the messengers, the planet of thoughts and patterns. And it's saying um, this pattern, because it's a, um, it, it, even though it seems random, it's not really a random pattern, but because it looks that way, because you're just like, like a sporadic fire, like you want it, it's kind of hard for you to change. But the next card I got for you is Uranus. So it's basically like a warning, like if you don't change the way you spend, have, well, don't change the way you're spending, it's going to be a, a, a part where you're going to be forced to look at it and see how you're spending. Okay, you're a little too quiet right now. You can't talk. He, 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 he's, he's sitting there I'm like, listening. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. I'm taking it in. You said you Aquarius, is all, Aquarius is all knowing. Okay, I know I don't have the money that I should have. And, yeah, so I know I need some money, so I'm knowing about money. I got that. And I do have a mentality where, hey, you only live once, so I might be dead tomorrow, so I'm going to enjoy whatever I'm going to buy right now. 
but it's not that spontaneous where I like cut off my arm to have it. So I, I, I'm, I'm thinking about that. That was on point. The, the funny parallels are two things. My brother that's next to me is an Aquarius. This may just seem to be just completely out the blue. And then the first car that I had was a Mercury. So I'm sitting here listening when you're saying this. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. She just, okay, does the color gray mean anything to you? God damn it. The car was gray. <laughs> okay, that would be a brother that is acknowledging that you need to work on your uh that would be your brother then and now they're coming through saying that you need to work on your money habits and stuff is gonna come up where you're gonna need this money for. Well don't go mute on me with that. <laughs> yeah. He is so quiet. Hey. hey. Do you wanna get out of the hot seat? Do you wanna get out of the hot seat? Man, I'm I'm oh, straight. I I was a doubter. I'm a believer. You got me. You got me. You are at Shit is on point. I, I I believe in you. Well, we have another man. That, that's on that's point, ready. girl. I know she know what she's doing. I wouldn't have damn. her on here buzzing now. Uh, stop patting your goddamn self on the back. This has nothing to do with you. This is all about me. <laughs> I'm not gonna play with y'all like that. I'm not going to play with you. She like, yes, I'm, I ha- I'm, I'm the one that brought D on. I'm the one that let her she read these no, bars. This honestly, is all me. Honestly, <laughs> me. honestly she did, because, you know, I'm normally, I normally run for shows. I'm normally like, I don't I'm read on the show. What? No, I ain't doing that. So I normally run for shows, but she did. No, no, no. Look, Have you Diana Ross, I'm Mary Wells, and I want these other bitches out the Supremes. <laughs> No. Okay. Have you ever seen a really uh, a really beautiful flower that doesn't know it's beautiful? It's like amongst garbage, but it's the most beautiful thing in the bunch. Man, that's kind of like D is like that. You you can you don't have to see everything else. You see her. Right. Oh, that's the, that's the type of that's the type of woman that a dude wants. You don't he have wants to the do one. All that. Right. He wants the one that know. you know. It's nice. But she don't think she's all that, but she really is. But she don't know it yet. All that aura and shocker and all that stuff shines through. But let, let's bring in the caller before they run away on us. <laughs> <Damn. God. laughs> don't let her start feeling that she the shit, though. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Let the, girl, let the girl feel good now. And move. We got company. Be company tonight. Look. Go sit down. Look. When when I, right, was, when I used to do the when I used to do the lit show with Gigi and Doug way back when. <laughs> nah. my oh my God, she's like too much. In. I know. Mike but you love me. Has called in. I, I, Mike, are you ready? Are you gonna Are you gonna do the actual reading, or do you have a question? Um. Uh... I just came in. Worst, uh, first of all, good good evening, Gigi. What up, Dub? Good evening, good evening. uh, Dia. Hi, Mike. Greetings, sir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Uh, I'm good. That's I'm, an inside joke. That's I'm, an inside joke. You know what? I've been. You, no, I want to. No, I, I would. I would like to be one of Dia's clients. So I, I, I hold off on that for right now. Dia. Don't read my oh, poem you don't unless he washes his hands. Scared? You're scared? No, he said he, wa- no. No, he, said he wanted to my clients meeting. He wants to go ahead and pay for a whole full reading and go real deep and don't want all his business oh. out there. That's what he's saying. Okay. Okay. Pretty much. Don't read it. Don't read his poem, have, though. I do have a question <laughs> for the for the sex expert, Gigi. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Or oh, Dia, Dia can... Dia can go in even even Dub if he if he has some knowledge sure. on this. I wanna I wanna ask I wanna ask is is how how much is a is a, a how much of a difference is the weather on our on our sexuality because up here in Chicago it's just got it's just gotten a just a tad bit warm and I know that my my Dia Dia know where I'm coming from when I say cheap. My chi has just been banging, D. I mean, banging, banging, banging. So, uh, 
I just well, like I said, I just want to know how 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 much of an impact does a, 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 in, a increase in temperature or warmer climate have on our sexuality? Because I've not just it really, but myself, but you know, but my 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 uh, lady friend in, in New York has been experiencing the same thing. Go ahead. Well, it's really more than just it, one. It is the weather. It's also the type of season, and then two, it really goes by the climate that your um, that your body has adjusted to. So if you're um, if you live in a colder climate all year round, then obviously it's not going to hit you. It's going to hit you a little bit differently. But for you being in Chicago and with the weather breaks and then the heat, and this is also spring season, and we're going into the season of the rainy weather, which is um, pro, which is basically nature's way of procreating. A lot of people right now are going to be hit. With uh, with with those feelings, with those emotions, they want they, they want their energy that their energy is building, which is also just another form of heat inside your body. The chi is building up, and they need to release it. It's 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 coming out. It's the natural. It's, this is the natural time for nature to procreate and to create. So a lot of people right now are feeling they need to go basically bunny hopping to put it nicely. But a lot of people are feeling they need to go and you know go and find a fire to want to procreate because it lines up. Not only is it the weather breaking, but it's lining up with that time in nature where nature naturally does this this time anyway. Mm, gotcha. And now all the skin comes out at this time. Mm-hmm. Legs okay. and the back, and neck and feet. For those men that like feet, all that stuff is right there. It's in your face. Man, she she broke it down very very scientifically. Um, I agree with her. I understood everything that she's saying, and like I tend to do, I I break it down and and put some humor to it. So if we start in the beginning of the year in January, it's cold. So at that point in time, you're trying to stay warm. So you're inside, you're snuggling. After that comes spring. Okay, now you don't want to be, you know, all up on each other. You want to have some room. You want to put on some shed some clothes feel new again, feel refreshed, and you know you're out and you're enjoying the flowers. You're seeing flowers bloom. You see bees pollinating, seeds being planted. There you go, procreating, deal, like you said. Then it gets hot. When it gets hot, you're on fire. You're seeing wife beaters, no offense, but tank tops, <laughs> strapless dresses. Mike, like you said, you see the you see the chick getting on the bus with all the booty moving. Because she ain't got on any underwear up under there. She got on the thong. Oh man, man, man! You, you, you see all the bo- you see all the booty meat. Okay. You see the tattoos. You also and then it slow. In, um, yeah. Okay. What? Right. Then it slows down. <laughs> when it comes to the fall, you put a little more clothes on. You come a little more chill, and you start this cycle all back over again. It depends on the weather. Yeah, it really goes with well, the you know season, and it's like variations depending on the city and state. But I wanted to add that this yes. is the type of season where you see women wear more more shades of pink, and what people don't know is this, different shades of pink and shades of red naturally um, put subliminal in, images in men's mind of the vagina because the lips are pink. So this is the type of year yes. where you see yes. more of that. This is the type of year where you're going to see more of those colors. So when you see more of those colors, that's also another trigger in your body to procreate. Because mm. it's subliminally there all the time. This is this is the type of stuff that you're going to see. Mm. That chocolate that's, ass that's woman wearing that pink. That's Ooh. interesting you said that. Because this morning, you, this interesting, you that's have interesting another you caller. Said. Yeah. Hold on. Hmm? Uh, <laughs> you have another caller. Uh, that's interesting yeah. you said that, dear, because I swear. Wait, I'm wait, going. hold on one moment. You have another <laughs> caller, dear, so we're going to bring them in. Oh, a caller. So you can, caller. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have another caller. Country Trinity ass. Y'all excuse my yeah, I can't. I'll try to work it out. And then add some Cuban Spanish in there in between in the Miami. So y'all just excuse it where it goes sometimes. Um Hey, how are you? Eight oh three. Yeah, what's happening? Go. Oh. Hi, how are you doing? Hey. What's up, what's up? Uh, are you calling to get a reading tonight? Do you have a question for Dia? Uh, no, nah, I, I ain't got no question. I was just calling in and say hey to everybody. See how y'all doing today. 
you're too afraid to get a re- Come on, do the remix. <laughs> Man, that's, that's, this is why that's I don't walk person. up. This is why I don't walk up to people. That's this is exactly why I don't walk up to right everybody's not ready. Wow, she just came in here. Wow. But everybody's not ready. That's why I don't walk up to people on the street. So, you know, it's okay if they're not ready for a reading. That's fine. Uh, do you have a question about sex or something else I can answer? Or it doesn't have to be a reading. The man said Hello. he didn't want to say hey. He didn't want to speak. Oh. He spoke. I mean, you, you, you go ahead, do your thing and, and stop me. Okay, okay. Do your thing. What do you mean, do your thing? What do you mean? Wait a minute. That's okay, cold. I, mean, I, I wasn't listening to the whole show, so I don't know what all y'all are doing. I was just like, stop it too, but what kind of reading are you talking about? Oracle reading, reading, Oracle reading, channeling. Yeah. Hey, that one more time. Oracle readings, tarot readings. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, both of them was, I heard both of them at the same time, so it was, I think. No, that's not good. Um, she's good, bro. She's good. She just pegged me. And she don't know anything about me at all except I like sports. And she just, yeah. And channeling. And, and, and channeling, but channeling comes when it when it wants to. It just happened to come through with W, but it normally comes in when it wants to. Okay. But, yeah, sure, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Um, first of all, which names I don't want to keep saying, sir. I'm sorry, say that one more time. What is your name? Because I don't want to keep saying, sir. What is your name? Um. It don't have to be your real name, because give a name. Oh, you you call me my name. I don't care, Harold. I can call you who? Harold, like Melvin in the Blue Nose. Oh, Harold. Harold. Harold, thank you. I didn't hear it. I didn't hear. Her. Okay, Carol. I need you to pick for me left. I need you to pick left, right, or middle. Okay, right off the bat, um, so on the cards I got, the first card I got is um, Devotion card, the second card I got is the Truth card, and the third card I got is a Pleasure card. But they're all facing the wrong way. So the first thing that I'm seeing is that um, whatever you're devoting your time to is not to your whole full truth, and that's blocking some of the pleasure that could be in your life. Okay. Uh, also, it seems like your somehow your purpose in life has shifted a little bit where you don't want to feel like you wasted your time, but at the same time, you feel like there's something else you could be doing. Um, it also seems like you know what it is, and you're trying to be a little bit of banal about it. Uh, the next part I got is celebration, but, again, it's facing the wrong way. So it's, it's, it's kind of like saying that you're not celebrating the little things, you're restricting yourself um, in a lot of ways and looking over the little things that bring you pleasure because it's not... It's not the money maker. It's not the big. It's not like the lottery ticket. Okay. Uh, actually, all your cards are coming out upside down. It's like you're in, you're in a cycle. It's like you're uh, not really in a cycle. You're in a. Um, it's not really a cycle for you. It's just like a certain uh, uh, pattern that you're going through right now. And it seems like you're closing you seem like you're closing yourself off and you have certain gifts in your own. I'm not necessarily saying spiritual gifts, but you have certain gifts in your own that you need to be working on. And this seems like it needs to be the direction that you're going in more so than the actual business that you're currently in. Mm-hmm. And also seem like uh this 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 these gifts that you're that 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 you're hiding that you need to be working on and try to figure out ways to put more time of that in your life, that way you'd be a little more happy. It also seemed by you working on those gifts, the people around you, your family, would be a little more happier too because your your attitude would adjust a little bit. 
kind of like you don't, kind of like you're in a funk, but you don't know you're in a funk, but you know something off. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see if I can pull two more cards. Um, okay. This cycle that you're going through seems like it's starting to wreak a little bit heavy on your on a little bit heavy on your body in a way. It's like you're uh, you're, you're you're just you're just there. You're not really living. You're just there. And it, it, you got to find a way to get back into your hobbies, get back into whatever it is that you're into that makes you happy. Um, I'm seeing cars, but I'm not really seeing like that's your total hobby, like that brings you the most happiness. But I can only say what I see, that the car can be totally connected to something else at this point in the reading. But that's, I, I just have to address what I see at the moment. So I'm seeing a parked car on the street. Actually, I'm trying to make that park car anymore for you. Okay. Uh, okay, basically what all this... Think? Say it again? Oh, I thought you were done. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, basically, I'm saying, uh, I, am, I am done. It's just all this is connected to basically his happiness is in the beginning. He just needs to um, basically... Start going back and appreciating the little things, and that um, start appreciating little things. And even though you may not have 30, 40, 50 minutes to work on a hobby or whatever it is that brings you happiness, start doing five to ten minutes of it, and you'll find out that just doing that will bring you, uh, will bring you into a meditative state, which will start helping you with whatever is starting to go go on in your body, and you won't feel as though that you know you're just there in life. You're still more present in life. Okay, now I'm done. I got you. I got you. I appreciate it. Is it true? Did that did that ring true to you? Those things that were said? Yeah, some of it. Yeah, some of some of it. Yeah, of course. I mean, but okay, I I say the only thing is is that with me, uh, necessarily it ain't a car that's parked. It might be my motorcycle outside that's parked that ain't running right now. But you good enough? We good. Okay. Hey, I, I mean, you gotta have a you gotta have car. a license to drive it, so it's all good. <laughs> Look, I didn't get a motorcycle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't get a car, but hey, huh? Hey, uh, hold on. I don't mean, I mean to stop you. I mean to cut you off, but so, where, where, where the fuck you from? We don't drive. We don't give a fuck about no license for the police. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> you know what? I just want to say this you part know of the Wait a minute. I don't even appreciate your tone that. talking to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. 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 We do have another caller that has called in, dear. If you have time, I know we have passed our 30-minute limit with you. If you are... Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Awesome, 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 awesome. So we do have another caller. Yes, Dia goes long in. beyond 30 minutes. <laughs> Ball diggity. I, oh. you, I, see, I see you. I had it for an hour know, and a half last goal. night. Some people boast and some people tell you and some people you just see it. You know what I mean? I, and I just see it. So we we have our caller, 561. Are you there? Hello. I'm here. Hi. How is everybody? Good. Hi. 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 Hey, 561, that's a, that's a Palm Beach area code. It is Palm Beach, and I was like, damn, she done? I can hang up because, you know, I'm over here having an anxiety attack on. I don't want a reading, but I do. <laughs> do Hi, Miss Dia. Do it. Hey, lady, why does your voice sound familiar? Oh, because you know me. <laughs> Wait, who this? It's precious. How are I you? Know. <laughs> I am great. How are you, boo? I'm good. Gabrielle, How is Gabrielle everybody else? You sound different. She said it's precious. Like, this the girl from the movie, ain't it? 
No, oh, Lord, no, Feel no. Free. You are so <laughs> Oh, so okay. Oh, you're hey. such a fool. I was gonna give I was gonna give you congratulations on the weight loss, but my bad. <gasps> no, that's not me. <laughs> okay, it's okay, my precious. But thank, you, thank you, thank you on her behalf. Thank you on her behalf. You're welcome on her behalf, also. <laughs> get this reading, girl. She's good. She on point. Get this read. Don't get this read, fresh. Yeah, do you do you have a question or do you want to go in for the reading? Just a reading, no specific question. What the hell? Okay, let's do it. Is that my puppy? <laughs> yes, that's oh, okay. my baby in the background. That's Kaba barking. Oh, okay. I thought somebody car. I thought that motorcycle had burnt out real quick. Oh my goodness. Precious, you want the left, right, or the middle? <laughs> you think too much. Pick the middle hand. The middle. Don't listen to her. Are you sure? I'm going to take the middle. I had already had my mindset on the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm a middle child. I'm taking the middle. Is that all you be okay. in the middle of anything? You be in the middle of anything else? No. When they hear me reading, I told you we got company calls here. I'm relaxing her so she can be focused. Calm down, Gigi. Precious is relaxed and focused. She is not new to this. Hell, she could probably give herself a reading. She's not new to this. I'm just like, damn, what's coming up? Okay. The first card that popped out is differences. So let me get a uh, get a better understanding on that. The difference card could go two ways. It could be you really seeing something different, or it could be um, that it's just being seen from two different perspectives. So, okay, basically, uh, the card, the difference is the saying that um, the next card is the, uh, the high priestess of water, which water deals with your emotions. So depending on the emotion, depends on which way um, you're seeing this particular situation. And, you know, my favorite card in the deck um, it came up, which is the listening card. And the phrase on the card goes, darkness does not always equate to evil, and light does not always equate to being good. So um, basically, in this particular situation, whatever the situation may be, you know, you have to pay um, not pay so much attention to emotions, but pay or words, pay more attention to actions. Uh, I also got the hope card, which basically, but the hope card is facing the wrong way, so it's basically feeling like uh, like the hope is going. And but oh, I got the left hope. card, which hope H O P E hope, so like the hope okay. is going. But I also got uh, also got the left card, which left feels more so with desires, and it seemed like. Even though it looks like the hope is going, you still have a desire for this, and you're not fully letting yourself go with this desire because it's showing um, the honesty card coming up next. Uh, the honesty and, card? Yeah, honesty. Honesty. And the next card I got is letting go, but the letting go is upside down. So it's like something that you you want to let go of, but right now it's not really the time to let go of, and deep down inside you don't really want to let go of. Uh and the next card I got is strength, but why is that like in card space on my the next card I got is the strength card, but the strength card is showing um it's showing the wrong way, so it's like you're not even even though the situation is there, you're not really even trying to give it energy right now. You're not putting your strength in it, you're kinda of like letting the other person whatever dictate whatever's gonna happen and whatever happens happens. Uh and then I got the deceit card, but the deceit card is upside down. So it's not like the other person is um uh, it's not, not sorry. That, I just got in my brain, I just got a foot arrow, which basically saying that it's not that um, you're not deceiving yourself. So it's basically saying that you're not deceiving yourself. Uh, and I got my favorite card, which is the, well, in this particular deck, I get two cards on those ends of the reading. One is the um, uh, chapter card, and the other one is the congratulations card. And I got the congratulations card. That's pretty much the end of this particular reading. And Precious, you know I talk fast, so I hope I didn't talk too fast for you. <laughs> no. I, when you're talking, I have to listen fast. <laughs> Stop. Focus. Listen. Mm. Got it. You had me when you said hope card. I'm like, did she say hope card or hope card? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm like, did she just call her hope? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 
But I got a question. When you pull the card mm -hmm. and it's upside down, like when you said it's something that you think that she wants to let go or she needs to let go, but she can't at the time. Could that also mean, like, if she does let it go, it'll come back? Like, if it's a person? Oh, or no, it's not going to come back. No, no, no. no. <laughs> it, it, does, it doesn't mean that at all. Um, but I didn't, say, on, I didn't say that she um, doesn't want to let go. I, what I said was she's not really putting her energy into that right now. It's more like wh whatever happens, happens. She really don't give a darn, but she does have a little bit of hope. I did not say. Uh, <laughs> Shit. Uh, okay. She's just not putting energy into that area right now. But when a car is upside down, Basically, it's just saying that whatever that car is, it means the opposite. So oh. if you have a car that says you're happy, so if you have a car that comes out that says you're happy and it's upside down, that means you're not. That means you're not happy. Oh. Okay. Quick question: what, All mine was the right side up. Uh, I'm trying to remember. No, don't worry, no, actually, don't hurt yourself. Actually, don't worry about it. A lot of yours, no, a lot of yours wasn't. That's why yours came out the way it did. No, I remember specifically Mercury was not right side up, and neither was um, neither was Aquarius. And there's a few others that wasn't right side up. Good, because I hate Aquarius. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> you keep playing, all right? You want to go come back and fuck with your life? Oh, one has already done that. <laughs> Don't play. That's why I have world. look. That's why I have that opinion of him. <laughs> you have changed my mind on this. This is this is great. I know I hear the background noise. What do you mean, PG? Trying to go to break? That's the wrap it up box, man. You lucky it ain't louder. <laughs> you have time, Miss D. I'd like to be the last person. Can I get you to read my mom on Wednesday? Oh my God! And I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. I think y'all. PG always has time for you, though. Uh, oh <laughs> Miss Precious, are you still on the line? Precious, you still there? That, I think that we lost her. I think that we lost Precious. We lost oh. her. I want you to tell everybody where to find you. You can find me at for all your spiritual needs, for all your spiritual readings. You can find me at oreoasis.com, O-R-I-S-O-A-S-A-S.com. And anything else I do, you can find out through the website. Now, uh, I'm on Google yeah. Plus, Twitter, Instagram. Do you have an Instagram? Because I know you do videos on YouTube as well. Yeah, I have an Instagram. My the YouTube um, is Ori's Always. Huh? You do weekly readings on YouTube, right? Yeah, weekly readings on my YouTube channel, which is Ori's Oasis, um, YouTube slash Ori's Oasis, and then my Instagram and Twitter and Facebook is Ori Oasis, O-R-I-O-A-S-I-S. But on my Instagram, I don't really do my spirituality too much. It's more so me playing around and everything else in my life. So if you want to get to know me a little bit more, the Instagram and Twitter is fine, but if you want more of the spiritual side of me, that's YouTube, that's obviously the readings and things like that. So tonight we have Dia, and I'm going to let you do my reading last. I'm terrified. I'm scared, <laughs> you guys. I don't know what you guys are going to find out, but okay. I am ready. Okay. Left, right, or middle? Uh, um, left. Oh my god! I know. I'm scared. 
I am no, scared. I'm, I'm so I'm like, I'm it needed about person. seven shuffles right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is the same um, deck that uh, that W did, and I don't remember if I shuffled it, so I shuffled it extra just in case. Okay. So, well, this you already this obviously you already know it came out. I got Juno. It was Juno um, this particular card in this deck deals with um, you know soul connections, and it's just soul maker really a soul connection. Uh, and it says uh, it has the sun and strength and energy, but also has patterns. So basically, but then the next card I have is um, Uranus, which Uranus is all about um, being unique and being changes, which you already know. You've already been seeing people's true energy, you know, because Uranus brings out who you truly are. That quirkiness is just, you know, this is a little different than anything else. It's already, it's, it's the same thing. It's showing that um, in your different relationship, um, you see, you're starting to see patterns within certain people. You're starting to see certain cycles. And um, basically, that's what the energy is right there for. Aries is the Aries is the, um, the sign of who they truly are, or who, who a person truly is. And Aries though is upside down, so right now it seems like that era in your life is coming to an end. And for, uh, ooh, two cards are jumping at the same time. Okay, like I thought I did that. Uh, the card that came out, though, is Jupiter, which is like an expansion, but it's um, facing the wrong way. But it also came out with um, Capricorn, which Capricorn really is the authoritative card. It's the card that knows when to use what and how. But both of them are upside down. So it's saying that you're not using, you're, you're basically not, um, you're, 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 you're more like letting it happen, letting it go, but you're not taking a step forward. And it's saying that your prosperity, your your um, not necessarily your happiness, but your expansion in life in different areas in life is not being expanded because you're not taking control. You're not um, stepping up to the, your full capacity. It's like you're picking and choosing, but not really um, doing it. And with doing it, um, you're basically the next card I got is Neptune, and Neptune um, it's it's more so of a, a deeper spiritual connection. So in your spirit, you know, but you're casting these um, illusions, not based on what people are doing, because you, you know in your seeing, but based off what they're saying, you're kind of like letting what they say override what they're actually doing. You know, because some people have good excuses, but in these particular situations, there's no excuse, they shouldn't have did it, whatever. But because they, they're coming up with these good excuses for whatever they did, what they did, and blah, 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 blah you're kind of like, okay, you're not really uh, accepting it, but you're kind of like letting them go because the excuse sounds plausible. Um, I got the heart chakra, uh, but the heart chakra is upside down, which is showing that um, you're, 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 you're closing yourself off. And the next card I got is your sacral chakra, which deals, again, deals directly with your energy, um, with your energy to be able to create, to be able to expand. And it's showing that this thing is creating emotion, emotional imbalance in you because you know what to do, you know what you should do, but you're not fully doing it based off what people say, even though you know and you're seeing their actions are totally different. And, you, and you're still looking at it from stuff they've done in the past and the past history, but you need to work on what they're doing in the present. Judge them by the president. I know we hate the word judge, but we judge every day. But you can judge them by the present because the present is showing you um, what needs to be shown because they need to go. And I keep seeing a little short, dark lady with glasses. I have no idea what it is, what it is. Um, and the word that's coming to my head is Amory. I'm not even sure right now if it's connected to your reading at the time, but that's what's coming through. Um, I have Ophucus, which Ophucus is the, uh, the the sign of the healer. Ophucus is the great healer. And the thing that's jumping out of me right now is jealousy for whatever reason. Wait, 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 Mm. It's not Anne, but it's Marie. Can you, can you, is there any way you can give me more about that, please? Not for free. Shut up, Dermot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just oh, wow, short, yo. Glasses. I don't know why I keep seeing Anna Marie, though. If you're saying it's Marie, but I keep... It may not be an Anna, maybe the You it, said it, the it, bus? A lot of times. Say it again? You said a bus, and you said glasses, no, right? No. no, I said short, dark skin glasses, but I keep seeing the name Anne Marie. But it may not be Anne Marie. A lot of times when they come through, the uh, the vowel may be wrong. So, 
It's my reason. It's something with it's, it's okay. Wait a second. Interesting. Oh wow. Well, I can't. I can't do this. She just. She just scared, I'm scared. you. Scared. She just scared you. <laughs> I'm seeing a cane, and but while well, I'm seeing her throw the cards, so whoever this is, they're throwing the cards at you. They're the ones that's giving us information. I knew that. Okay, I'm seeing my I'm seeing a cane, but what I'm seeing is the the cane that my great grandmother had. So. When I see the cane that my great grandmother had, it's showing that this was an older woman in your life. It's not my life. It's not in my life. It's not in my life. I, I, I don't mean. Yeah, I don't I mean alive. Do I don't mean alive. I don't mean alive. Yeah, I don't I mean, mean alive. Okay. This is not a person. They're a person that's involved, but they haven't been in my life. And I know if you're listening, I need you to press one. I really need you to press one right now. Like Dub clicked and hung up, and he, I don't know what happened. He clicked and hung up. Dub ain't did nothing. I keep getting hung up on. This is like the fifth time I've been disconnected tonight. Yeah, I don't know. Let's <laughs> speak okay, when, when people come through to me, they're they're not living. They're on the other side. I know. I don't get this living person people. Is. Okay. Marie is the Man. main. It, it the first name is not correct completely, but Marie, I know who that is. I know the. I I know what you're talking about. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. You just got me no, with that. No, that's, that's 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 totally fine. I've never heard DJ speechless. Damn, dear. Yeah. I don't think anybody would have believed me until right now. The next part <laughs> I got is Sagittarius. So with Sagittarius, it means understanding. And basically it's showing that you understand what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You're just not willing to deal with it right now. And then the next part I got is Mercury, which... Um, you're getting all the right messages. You're getting your your, your, your thoughts are fired. It's just and the next part out there is Libra, the peacemaker, which totally makes sense because you're always the freaking peacemaker. Um, and it's showing that you're the peacemaker, but in these situations, it's it's not a time for peace. Um, I got the Mars card. You know, you're 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 avoiding Mars. Mars is definitely the uh, the conflict person. It's, it's the full full head person. It's not but pure raw energy in its most chaotic state, and that's the type of energy that that you're holding back. That you need you need to let that trinity out. Put it like that. You need to let that tribal roots trinity out, and you're not. Um, and you need to show. And the next card I got is the solar plexus chakra, which deals with um, your actual will and your soul. And while you're not doing this, it's a part of your soul that's not benefiting from it. It's, it's being harmed from it. It's it wants to be let out. It wants people to show. It wants to show people that, you know, you're not all love and light, you know, and you're not just going to be a, a bridge for people to walk over. At some point, you got to pay the toll, you know. And this and this is um, this this particular aspect needs to be addressed. Uh, the next card I got is the crown chakra, but I got it in reverse, uh, which is saying um, if if you don't start addressing this soon. The messages that you get, the signs all around you that you get, is just going to go away. And because the signs are showing you everything needs to be done, but if you don't start addressing it, and, or at least acknowledging it, and at least acknowledging the fact that you're not you're you're not there, you you know what you got to do, you know what you do, but you don't want to do it. Like fully acknowledge, accept that other side of you, but just acknowledge that you don't want to do do that right now. If you don't start doing it, then all the messages and stuff that you get, and clearly is going to go away, and then. Whatever happens is going to be whatever happens, but you're not going to be able to get the understanding from it again, or the, uh, the knowledge, or be able to see people for who they truly are. Like this is a this is a a window for you for a reason, and you, this the reason is to let go of certain energy so that other energies are coming to your life. But if you don't do that fully, then it's gonna it's going to kind of shut down. Uh, wow! If I ignore it, I'm going to be walking blind. <laughs> <laughs> if 
I just say I'm not going to deal with this right now, I'm going to be walking blind, but I don't like what I see. Okay, can that we stop? Don't do any more. No okay. more. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll no stop. more, no more. Yeah. And I didn't play the out. normal commercial. Tap out. Yeah. Tap out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, Mike, I know you. Are you still here? Are you there? What's up? I don't know. I guess he's there, but not there. Oh, oh I'm here. That was, yeah, that was a lot. Um, did you have any as far as, far as um, oh, wow. <laughs> Doug, can you go me here? Can I take you? I knew Mark, what it you, was going to be. I got, I, was it, like, I, I got it, Gigi. I got it, man. I got it. You take a breath. Mike, did you have any questions, anything that you wanted to drop in here real quick, man? No, I was just, uh, before uh, Gigi went to the, the caller, I was just, you know, letting Dia know that, uh, that this woman who I was uh, flirting with on the on the bus this morning, you know, did in fact have a nice booty, and she she was wearing uh she was wearing <laughs> pink uh the color of her the color her, um her fingernails was pink. She painted she had her fingernails painted pink. So I was just I was just you know thinking about what. But she was saying and what happened today. So does that mean she masturbate, dear? No, no man. Not. She was saying man, something look, about how pink. Time out. No. You said you said pink fingernails. It's a sex show. Colors and signs. I'm just putting stuff together. I'm asking questions. Oh. No, that doesn't necessarily mean yeah. that she masturbates. But pink okay. is a nice way of pink is a nice way of saying that they're you know, pink is a color is is why I saw a sexual color is more of an innocent sexual color and that's why a lot of women like it. Where red you see strong, powerful, all her sex. Pink makes it seem like she's more of a good girl, even though she may be you know, oh. may not be so good. But pink seems more more of a good girl, where she's more of the innocent type, where she seems like she um would, would be like more of the shy type in the bed. But you can tell by the length of the shorts whether they're not. I'm going to say the length of the shorts. You can tell by her walk in the shorts whether or not she's really shy to bear them or not. Always, for men who's listening, don't judge them by their clothes. Watch how they walk, and that'll tell you more than anything else, anything than what they have on. You know, I try so is to that, tell is them that why they that used to say the way. red dress? No, let me tell you something. As a nerdy girl. I was a nerd. Oh, now you're back. I was a scientist. That was club quick. President. Yeah, I'm here. Listen to me. <laughs> when it would take me out, I, I would come. I, one time I wore this outfit. They were like, let's go. My friend said, you are dressed like JJ from Good Times. And she dressed me. She's like, you know, you need to put on this and this and this and this. And it was what she would wear. And I was completely uncomfortable and awkward. Although I had worn things like that before. That's not what I wanted to be presented in. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I was really awkward. So Dee is right in the fact that you shouldn't always look at what a person has on as their appearance, especially when they're with a group of females or a female friend. Because sometimes they're like, no, you need to change. You don't know. Fix your hair. And they look really crazy. They have you looking crazy. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 all, it's, it's the same thing with the guys. Don't worry. Don't look at their clothes. Look at their walk. Look at their walk. Their walk will tell you everything you need to know. So oh, the swag. Mm-hmm. Well, there's guys who have an overly swag. You can tell those are the ones that are not, not the most confident. You can already tell if you're dealing with that guy, he's going to be the jealous type. Pay attention to his walk. There's other ones that have that walk like they own the world. Those are also they're going to be the possessive type. Pay attention to the walk. The walk is everything. Then there's that smooth walk. There's that confident walk. There's that uh, there's that military walk. There's there's all different types. So just start paying attention to the way people walk, and then start talking to them, and you'll start to see the differences in the patterns of the walk. It has nothing to do with the clothes. Pay attention to the way they walk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
As always, as always, an awesome interview with Dia. Interesting. Interesting. Mm, mm, mm. We got we got session coming soon, Dia. Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> I am yes. going to another tip for my ladies. This tip is for my ladies because I'm a female. Um, you know, they always say you can judge a man's penis size by his feet. Don't look at his feet. Look at his fingers, particularly his thumb. If his thumb is long and skinny, his penis is going to be the same way. If it's thick at the top and then gets skinny, then he's going to have a thick head and it's going to get skinnier as it gets down. If it's short and stubby, I guarantee his penis is short and stubby. Look at the fingers. You'll know everything by his fingers as far as his penis size. Look at, look at, just look at the fingers, particularly oh, the thumb. Wow. Mm. <laughs> and now we're going to be looking at thumbs. That head hey. is hey. going to be hey. different now. Hey. I can palm a basketball wow. very easily. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> you didn't say with one hand though. You didn't say with one hand to say it. You never sit with one hand. I mean I could palm one with, with I could palm a basketball easily too, but I need two hands, so you never sit with one uh-uh. hand, so if if you use two hands you're just holding. Guy. Wait, can nope, I say palming. something? Can I say something completely random? I knew a guy who used to be able to like pick up lighters with his toes. He had really long, he had like monkey toes, I swear. This was a white guy. And he was really hung. So is that like, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm serious, he was like really hung. So, yeah. uh, so I mean, can, can it goes that work with the toes together? Too. Yeah, it goes with the toes. Like when you do, people say look at the foot, but it really has nothing to do with the foot. It actually has to do with the toes. So the toes tell a lot too, but if you want to have a more accurate description, look at the hands. But yes, the toes, look at the toes. Most men don't show their toes. So look at the toes. Yes, definitely. The toes. I don't mind showing my toes. Hey, ladies, that's awesome. So it's the appendages. It's not yeah. the, um, the you when, know. Technically, when you think about it, your penis is an appendage or, or extremity. Mm-hmm. It sticks out from your body. That's a wonderful thing. I'm just saying, he, I mean, we seriously used to be like, pick up the lighter, pick up, we would throw things on the floor so he could pick it up with his feet. And he was very well hung. He got a King Henry, for any of you who know what that is. Uh, yeah, it's a piercing. He's nice. With- Basically, he's nice. <laughs> that and, yeah. that and Prince Albert. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah, he, he he got that and yeah he yeah he anyway anywho I got a moving on I got a William Frederick <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for coming on and we I want you guys to make sure those of you listening on the podcast on the internet on air now and later on that you click on those hyperlink those in blue and idea where she's at on both Facebook and I and get your own personal reading. The readings are really reasonable with you. They're not, like, outrageous. Yeah. I was highly impressed. And that's <laughs> check it out. No, totally. no she's Seriously. right. Some people charge, like, $150. And, I mean, I'm not saying they're not worth it, but $150, yeah. really? Like, you just have to think about it. You just that. spread all of us in here. If anyone who was on this line can disagree with you, you know, mm-hmm. you have some keynotes on some things. It, it, it's completely reasonable. I think you check it out and go on there and see what love for your job. You said pets, too. Did you say pets? Yeah, sometimes pets have come through. See, I had so many jokes, man. I had so many jokes, but when she explained it, I went, oh, never mind. I don't have any jokes. Because first what, thing what, I was going to think, what in the hell is the dog or the cat or the hamster going to be saying? I just want to know. You should have fed me more cheese. You didn't walk me enough. <laughs> no, but, uh, Why did what, you what, not what, have me on a leash? What the fuck, man? <laughs> I was wondering, but well, you no, cleared it up. It, it came as a vision. It comes as, it comes as, it, nothing comes in as actually them talking. It comes in as signs and symbols. Some symbols that, um, that are personal to me that I don't know what they mean. And then sometimes it'll be symbols that the, uh, only the other person can explain, like the color gray with you. I have no idea mm-hmm. why I kept seeing the color gray, but you understood it. You know, like with the word Marie and short with glasses, only wow. only um, Gigi understood it. 
you know, so sometimes it comes in like that, and with pets, they'll normally come in with their favorite toy or the favorite thing they like to do with their owner. They'll show me a vision of it, or, you know, they may show me, like, they love to be in a park, they'll show me a park. It comes in and just signs and symbols. It's never like someone talking in my ear. Wow. I'm scared to have you back. We probably. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, you like, uh, yeah, I don't, I, but it was awesome having you on, and you spent an enormous amount of time with us tonight. I know yeah, you. Thank you for that. Know you we know you got a phobia. No, I really don't have a phobia, but I I know, I know, when I know, I know, and I know that I was going to get no. what I was going to get tonight. Gigi doesn't have a phobia, but Gigi, Gigi try to act like she don't have a gift, but she has a gift. She don't need to be read. She can read herself, too, but she try to act like she don't have that gift. She be playing too much. I don't know what y'all That's talking about. Scared. I don't know. See? See? Exactly. I don't know. Uh, that innocent good girl, miss. Boo. I just like cars and dice. What y'all talking about? But anyway, <laughs> Girl, stop. and you got she got that laughing. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I uh, we we we're so happy that you came to join us tonight. I look forward I to hearing more here. from you. Bruno. I can't wait to see you more on Google Hangout, on um, YouTube, and everywhere else that I see you. Because you know we and our little circle that we have that we do on Facebook. I can't wait to see everybody. And uh, again, and hopefully we will have you back again. I, I'm scared. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have you back again. And I'll be spreading the word of Ori Oasis. Good job. Yes. Awesome job. And we'll we'll see you again. And you have a great evening. And enjoy the spring. You. you do too. Bye, honey. See you when. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Bye. Well, I'm. I have. I have. I have goosebumps. <laughs> Drop I your ass. You guys. <laughs> I can't. I can't. She I might as well just me. walked up and smack you. <laughs> you. You don't talk. Don't talk because you got the same treatment. Oh, I, I was able to deal with my. Friend. I was able to deal with mine a little bit better than you. You know when you go when you're in elementary school and lunch and you mix everything together and you're like, who oh, eat it first? That's why I pushed you out there first. I was like, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you eat it first. And, and you know, and you know what happened? You threw up before I did. 